top side is we're going to fold it, get, get the side that has your kick pleat, we're going to fold it back on the folded edge, back onto itself, because that's how we start to do our pivot corner. This pivot corner is exactly the same method when we did a pivot corner for our centre front facings where we, at our hems, okay, when we did our samples for that. So all I'm doing is getting my kick pleat, and I've actually pressed up that nice crease, folding it, turning it back onto itself right on that folded crease. And when, after I do that, I need to isolate where those two corners meet each other. So that point and that point there. Okay, so I'm putting a pin through both, making sure they absolutely meet each other to get that corner. And then I'm gonna start stitching it. Okay, as I remember, as it with the pivot corner, as I back tack and stitch up into it, I then put my needle down in that corner, lift it up, clip into it, pivot it around and then keep on going okay so I might do it that way so you guys can see it one centimeter seam allowance and I've got that pin in there so I know that's exactly my pivot corner so I'm coming up to it might not be a full stitch going into it so it isn't so it's about a half a stitch is my back tack Pull out my pin, lift, lift up that, make sure my needle's down in my fabric, lift up that seam so I can see the needle and I'm going to clip from the corner right into where my needle is. Okay, diagonally clip. It'll then let me, once I've done that, it'll let me pull it all the way around. I'll show it this way so you guys can see it. It'll let me pull it all the way around so that I can and then access this other end. The first point, two points I need to find once again at the top of this kick pleat, because I'm only going to sew to that point. This side I'm not going to sew all the way up. I'm only sewing to that one point there. Find that point on my top of my kick pleat. Same point find on my lining. So on my lining I should have drawn in. On the other side, that point there. Right into that same point. Make sure they match up to each other. So pull your pin nice and tight. This is probably the most confusing part. Make sure that's nice and tight so those two points match. Because then whatever's excess, remember those that, that, that pleat again? Whatever's excess, we're gonna push down to create that pleat. Alrighty, so pivot it around. important part when you stitch before you stitch along this guy here make sure it's nice and flat but also make sure that that's because the most common thing would be when you're doing a pivot hem is you leave the the hem or the the, the um the part that you've clipped into you create a little tuck at the bottom so give it a little bit of a tug to make sure that it's a clean corner and you haven't caught any fabric underneath of it and then off you go one centimeter seam up keep maintaining that pleat as we go up you need to stop at that stop sign, remember? So stop exactly where that's, don't go over that point. Stop, stop sign is the point. So those two seam lines meet. Walk into it, and back to it. Have a look at it on both sides, so you're really clear about where to stop and start. When you flip it over, that's that top corner, you've stopped at that point. Flip it back this way again. That's the top corner on your main, and you've stopped at that point. You haven't exceeded that point. Otherwise, you won't be able to turn the top pivot corner out once you've got finished with it. Let's turn it onto the inside and let's have a look at it. See, once again, you can see that's your pivot corner that you've cut into and gone around. See, so trim off any loose ends. The beauty of this side is you don't have to bluff anything. Basically, once you've done him, you can go give him a decent press. Press that seam down. But the trick of this one is to make sure you don't get a bit of a tuck there. So get a clean pivot corner coming around here. Make sure you've maintained your pleat into your lining 
and don't stitch all the way. Stop at that point so that there's still a seam allowance left at the end. Okay, so that's the other side done.